Hello everyone, Souls RJ here, and it's time to hit the scales for the game of FTL, Faster Than Light. I mean, Age of Empires 3, Wars of Liberty. Okay, in the um, last video, I went through a goofy storyline involving the Knights of Malta fighting off Spanish, Aztecs, Ottomans and all that in the New World. So yeah, now it's time for Act 2, which is sort of less goofy, but... Has a, bit of, has a bit of goofiness to it, but at the same time, the story's a little bit more serious. You'll see. By the middle of the 18th century, many thriving colonies have been found in the New World, but European conflicts had soon explode in the Americas. See? Serious already. You know, all the stuff like the Seven Years' War. Not the Revolutionary Wars, that comes later. Everyone always said Morgan's grandson, John Black, had a lot more enemies than he had friends. But one man, a Mohawk named Kenyon Kay, always stood by his side, even if the two did have a friendly rivalry. Too slow, John Black. You were faster once. And your eyes were better once. Your arrow missed the mark. My shot was the one that took him down. Oh, Only sure. a few more miles to Brunswick, boys. We've marched long and hard, and you all deserve a hot meal. Yeah, sure, just use your gun. This is a waste of time. Your uncle sees a shadow in the forest and cries for help. Stuart is not the commander my grandfather Morgan was. But if he says the colony is threatened, I believe him. Why would the Cherokee attack? Brunswick is far from their lands. Who knows? But colonists can't afford to take chances. And as long as they line our pockets, their interests are mine. Wait, your, your, your grandfather Morgan? <laughs> John, thank God you're here. Uncle, what happened here? Where's the garrison? These few men are all that's left. The others died in the last raid, and the Cherokee carried off most of the survivors. Uh-oh. Another war party is on the way. Less than a mile distant. I can hear them. Wait, why do they have guns? Shore up the defenses and open the arsenal. I want every colonist that can hold a musket on the walls. Yes, get on the walls those with your muskets. So let's see what faction Wars of Liberty is going to make me play as for the rest of the campaign. Should be interesting. Or maybe you'll say, guess what? You can't play the game any further. Your colony's been abandoned. Everything explodes. Like Command and Conquer games sometimes do. I don't think the games are modified or something like that. I'm like, oh, guess what? Everything explodes. Another wave of Cherokee sighted. Another no! wave. Grab rifles, the wall. Get in there. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, you and you. You're all group one. Now, post, upgrade yourself there. An Imperial Cannon? Okay. I don't understand. The Cherokee have always been peaceful. Oh, we're the Italians this time. I don't know. They're not peaceful anymore. Prepare the defenses. We have to hold off the Cherokee until reinforcements arrive. Okay, so we're the Italians this time. We can build up. We can build crossbowmen, pikemen, and these guys. Train some settlers. We need resources to defend this colony. Okay. Uh, repair that then. City wagon. And the rest of us will grab, and the rest will be uh, merchants and stuff. Yes, right. The imp. Oh, that's right. There's um. Let's both sort to defend. What is your Until level goes. Now, K and K is an interesting kind of guy. Oh, hi, Musketeers. Yes. Uh, K and K is an interesting kind of guy because he likes to um. He attacks from a very long range. While everyone else, while everyone else is attacking from like you know. From quite far out from those kind of distances, K and K is like sitting over here, 
normally. I'm the Cherokee are attacking that village. We should help them. So we're rescue that village then. You can hold it, you get a bunch of free stuff if you defend them. Yeah, you get some free stuff. The Korea des Boys. I just messed it up, didn't I? For, didn't I? Sorry, French viewers. Those who understand the French language. I messed up the pronunciation already. So I'm gonna call them Dead Boys. Because. Yeah. Attack move! Okay, let's put a Basilica here. You see? All merchants go over here. The architect can't really do anything. Got a better walls though. As you can see, this there are certain units that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we lost, I guess we lost the um, the French guy, <laughs> the French set, the French colonist. The French colonist, dude. Oh, war party. They're on the war path. Sometimes a battle can get rather ridiculous and just how just how slow the enemy gets in to attack. It's like Sure they kill sure they're killing one dude at a time, but I'm also killing one dude at a time. Stage Empires for you. Oh, he's also got a special ability. Everyone's got special abilities. One shot, one kill a lot of people. Wait, so who is this guy? I can't even click on him, huh? I'm probably gonna have to build stuff. Maybe I should have brought the cannon along. Mm. Eh. Oh, now level 10 home city. Oh, that's right, to advance the next age, you need 120 gold. 120,000. Fort wagon, please. <laughs> Guys, go down there. Uh, grab resources from here. Here we go. Yeah. And then, of course, you get colonists under attack by Cherokee. The Cherokee are right behind us. They're gonna kill us. They're gonna kill us. Get them into the colony. Hurry. Can you see? Fire everything! Oh, you guys, oh, you guys suck. Okay, there we go. You colonists will have to fight alongside us. Give them weapons. Yeah, just, don't, don't become colonists, you're now militia. Because, why not? All right, and more colonists, I suppose. Go that way. Go that way. So yeah, you got to survive the raids for that long. There's nothing really, nothing really to it, right? I can place a fort up here, but I don't see any way you can actually reach that area. Now, fortresses are an interesting thing to have. 
Me. Lo haré. Sí. Yeah, Lo haré. forts are an interesting thing to have. Sí. Oh crap. Another wave of Cherokee sighted. You don't want your uh, fort wagon attacked by stuff. Fort wagons are highly vulnerable. Go that way, you. Go that way. Can you actually build it there? That's what I'm wondering is can you actually get it there? No. Alright. Never mind. Fort wagon. This is what you do. You place it down, your unit goes and builds a fort. <laughs> group one. More colonists. Get them into the colony. Hurry. Get the colonists into the colony. It just sounds weird when it does when they do that. It's like, oh you gotta get that into the co you gotta get the colonists into the colony. It kinda sounds weird. More priests, they healers. Oh, actually, no. Not gonna hire some. Not gonna hire those guys quite yet. The Cherokee are right behind us. Like, over there. <laughs> yeah. The Cherokee are right behind us. This is definitely a wait and see level. Get them into the colony! Hurry! You colonists will have to fight alongside us. Give them weapons. They're militia hmm. now. Can you see? Oh, missionario yep, and he's going to heal my troops. Oh, yeah, so I can buy faith of coin. That makes, actually makes a lot of sense. Pronto? Buying faith, buying faith of coin. That actually makes sense. <laughs> Another wave of Cherokee sighted. And I see, and it seems I haven't actually. Oh, fortresses. They got big ass guns and they're really good defense. I mean, I've, I mean, you've seen me destroy a few though, the Spanish ones, but doesn't matter. Forts are cool. Oh. Alright. Tallare la legna. Si. Comando. Tallare la legna. Si. Yeah, you guys are going to be chopping some trees down because I realize I need trees. I haven't, haven't set myself up a lumber industry yet. I haven't got any lumber support. Another thing you can do is hire some ships. More colonists. Get them into the colony. Hurry. You can get, 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 get some ships and then will the Cherokee come in to attack? It's like BAM! Ships. Get them. These guys have a single minor focus. That's all right. There you go. Enemies destroyed. Let's get a log flume. They're really good. Look, let's get a log flume. They're really good with the guests. Although a bit slow, and you're gonna get like twelve cars. Oh wait. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Hmm. You guys get over there. Now I'll gather, the, gather that thing. Go okay, kill those guys. Another wave of Cherokee sighting. Now, in Age of Empires 2, castles, the fortress would be, in, would be equivalent of a castle in Age of Empires 2. And one of the things I would do is I'd garrison archers inside the castle, so it would shoot more arrows. You can't do it in this game. What is your command? I'll do it. You can't gather, you can't just gain more tr resources, you can't just gain more attacks to your castle. Which is 
a bit unfortunate. A bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Well, you are now... You're now chopping down trees and stuff. More colonists. Get them into the colony. Hurry. Yeah, 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 I know. I know the story. Wait, can you guys pray at the temple? Wait, how does stained glass make them stronger? Where are those reinforcements, John? Reinforcements are almost here. I mean, seriously, that, that doesn't make any... Servo, signore. Come posso rendermi? That makes no Vos sense. All'istante. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, seriously, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, how does bring stained glass windows on your town centers and temples make them stronger? You colonists will have to fight alongside us. Give them weapons. They're a militia now. And that doesn't make any sense. Jawohl. All right, you're all skirmishes now. Oh, that's right. We found the Cherokee war. You can't actually do anything about them. I mean, you could try and take them out, but that just gets troops. That gets everyone killed. Another wave of Cherokee sighted. I think attacking the Cherokee war camp just gets everyone killed, and then they go on the war path. Maybe not. Oh yeah, you can't really do anything, guys. We're we're, we're a um, star fort. We're a star fort. I can train grenadiers. Grenadiers are very useful units, and they're much cheaper now. Eh, uh, no. I'll help you when like I'll help you later. The Cherokee are right behind us. We're gonna kill us. Gather some faith, will you? Have faith, will you? Signore. Have some faith, will you? Mm -hmm. I see, okay. You colonists will have to fight We're really looking for a way in. It's like, yep. We've got to find a way around these walls. Why can't we find a way around these walls? Because we have you surrounded. Hmm, okay. Why not upgrade everything else? It's like we're gonna... Oh, crap. Cantalism, go! Cantalism, go! I forgot to, I forgot to buy that one. The reinforcements have arrived. The Cherokee are retreating. Yes! Got it! Wow, that's your reinforcements. Okay. Woo! Magnetalism! Hmm. <sighs> Alright, so. Now I get to choose some different cards. Um, how it works here, but it's a little bit different for, um, John Black's Mercenaries. Even though I'm playing as the Italians, it seems. Yeah, but the thing is, is that, um, you get different units to choose from, like Musketeers and War Wagons. Yes, I fell into that trap. I thought, War Wagons? This sounds awesome. It's a car with, ca with guns. And it goes to war. It's a wagon with guns. War wagon. Anyway, first thing you should do is get your upgrades for your um, heroes. Alright. Um, why not? Advanced Arsenal. Well, what? The new one's out? <laughs> do that one. Get a fortress wagon. 
Wait, why can I choose that? Uh, progression locked. Ugh. Yes, Arsenal sounds good though. And you can also choose some mercenaries here. You can go Black Riders in Germany. Hire a hire the Holy Roman Army. Get some caravels, although again, maybe doesn't seem to be a huge priority in these levels. Get four settlers. Eh. Uh, up mortars. I'm actually quite a fan. Of, I'm actually quite a fan of skirmishes. Oh, I can actually choose them all. Hmm. Huh, okay. And of course, customizations. Let's see. Upgrade that. Yes, yeah, just change the roof of everything. Uh. Don't see the difference. Does it add more chimneys? Smokestacks? Oh, whoops. That was supposed that was the one. That was the upgraded version, but that'll work too, I suppose. And because, you know. Let's throw some Patriot bunting on everything. Although the cathedral. I think it's a bit of a tricky one to customize because you look at it and it's like you can't really see where you've customized it. Like changing the color of the roof of the cathedral would be useless because you can have you can't even see the roof from here even when you zoom in. But anyway, that'll be it for this one of Styles RJ, and I'll be tipping the scales in the favor of John Black's mercenaries in the next episode of Age of Empires 3: Wars of Liberty. Signing off.